For over a decade, the Poetry Out Loud tournament has been a cornerstone of the Burlington High School calendar. Like many events in this new normal, Poetry Out Loud has gone virtual this year. Instead of performing in front of their classmates, students recorded the recitations of their poems. Which I think helped a lot of students. It took a lot of the pressure off. I will say they found it a little bit awkward watching themselves on video in class. Um, but it took that pressure off and it allowed for a little bit more comfort. And it allowed for some creativity in putting the videos together, which was exciting. Diana Watson, this year's Poet Laureate, spoke on the poems she chose for this year's competition. So I chose um, for my first poem, I'm offering this poem by Jimmy Santiago Baca because I was just so in love with how in love he was with like while he was talking in the poem. And for my second poem, I chose I Find No Peace by Sir Thomas Wyatt because he was a little more like upset and despaired and just hurt. So I thought it was a nice contrast. And then my third poem, When You Were Old, by William Butler Yeats was just like a nice sum up of all of like the emotions I felt like. I wasn't expecting to make it this far, but I'm really glad that I did. I was just like going through the motions and like really trying hard in each poem, but wasn't expecting to make it all this way. And now that I'm here, I'm like really, really excited. Watson now prepares to submit her poems for the state competition. Through the efforts of Watson and her classmates, Poetry Out Loud was able to carry on for another year, allowing BHS students to connect and engage with the poetic arts. I'm actually really very proud of students. Um, it's hard. Poetry Out Loud is hard no matter what, and everything seems harder this year. So they really put forth a lot of effort and energy. This was a, it's a tradition that I was worried we were going to have to give up this year, so I was so grateful. Poetry Out Loud is one of my favorite assessments. Um, it hits all of the standards for English language arts. Um, so it's speaking and listening, it's critical reading. Students write about it, so there's some composition. And there's a lot of emphasis on language. Students need to really understand the poem and bring that poem to life. But the main part that I like is that it exposes students to a lot of different poetry that they wouldn't typically get a chance to read in class. And students can make a connection, find a, something that they, that they love. Until next time, this is Chris Flaherty for B News Weekly.